Hello, Scorpio. Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. Welcome to Water Day. Thank you so much for coming here and watching. I appreciate you. If you're someone that always clicks here, welcome, welcome, my ride or dies. Thank you for doing that. And if you're brand, brand new, right off, hot off the press. If you haven't seen Ten of Cups Tarot before, I hope that you will stay. I hope you will subscribe. And for those of you Scorpios that come by here and I'm through your feed and you watch and click anyway, I hope you will press that subscribe button. Sometimes YouTube comes through to get rid of the bots and sometimes you get unsubscribed. So you might want to just check to see that you're still, still subscribed if that's your intention. So thank you so much for stopping by here and giving this a shot. Like We're always reading for the week ahead here. Let's take a look at the week ahead. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's take a look at the week ahead for Scorpio energy. We have Co-Create with Spirit. Card number 17. Look, I feel like if you get more into meditation and manifestation mode, um, possibly some prayer, it feels like there is something waiting uh, for you to ask for it. That's what it feels like. Card number 17. Um, card number 17 is an eight, right? Eight is about the self, putting in the hard work on something. But card number 17 is also the star. It feels like wish fulfillment here. We do have <clears throat> set healthy boundaries, um, the armadillo spirit. Now, it's card number three, which reminds me of the, um, the empress. And the empress is the empress because she's realized her boundaries. I say she because it's a feminine leaning energy, but the empress also has masculine energy. So whether you're feminine or masculine, you could be an empress. That being said, I think that with setting healthy boundaries, it tells me that you don't have to have your armor on if you set the healthy boundaries. And the boundaries aren't for anyone else. The boundaries are for you. You decide who you're letting inside the boundaries. It's like whenever you do A, you're always going to get B. And I think that you're good for that, Scorpio, to be honest. I think you're pretty consistent for the most part, unless you got some crazy fire in the in the, in the the moon or the rising. Um, but it feels like somebody here needs to set healthy boundaries so you don't have to walk around in all of this armor that you've had on. One more. We have Know Your Worth. The Empress would know their worth. We have card number 54, which is a nine. And I think that that is something that you may have to figure out yet. Maybe some of you know it already, but, um, but five and four being nine, nine is the number of the hermit. So you do have some wisdom. I feel like you know your worth, but I also feel like you're a little bit standoffish. You keep people at arm's length. The skunk sort of is, is a little bit skittish, right? Always ready to crack somebody, right? Or always ready to spray somebody, even if they don't deserve it. Like not everybody that comes toward you is someone who's going to hurt you. So it says know your worth and it's card number 54, which is a nine and the hermit knows their worth. The hermit finds their worth while in hermit mode by gaining wisdom and finding their light. We've got... Um, uh, the re a rebirth is issued. Okay, so some people are reborn as they come out of the hermit energy because they do find their light. This is card number five. So maybe going into the hermit mode, you are feeling in lack. Coming out of the hermit mode it says a rebirth is assured here. Okay. So this is for the end of the month. We're going to pull a card for the last week of the month. This is for the week ahead, which is the third week of... Um, the third week of, of February, the week ahead. Let's uh, throw some tarot at it and find out what's going on. Tell me about um, the co-create with spirit card, please. Tell me about wish fulfillment. Tell me about the crow spirit. All right. We do have the eight of wands. Then we have um, the page of pentacles. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So with the Eight of Wands and co-create with Spirit, I feel like by getting by getting into meditation, manifestation, prayer, whatever it is that you do to connect to your source, I feel like it brings messages in. And the messages coming in, I believe, are wish fulfillment. So I feel like for some of you that maybe you don't believe in meditation. Maybe you don't believe in manifestation. Maybe you are the person who doesn't necessarily get on your knees unless something goes wrong and you're asking for help. I feel like it's time for you to take some time out for yourself. And when you open this gateway, I think that messages come at you. That's what it looks like. Messages are incoming. 
Um, so messages come at you here. We do have the armadillo spirit here, um, set healthy boundaries. And I think you're being asked to set healthy boundaries because it feels like there's an opportunity coming to you. The opportunity is going to grow to something really big and beautiful here. Know your worth. And this is the Ten of Pentacles. Look, you're a Ten of Pentacles person. Please know your worth. I feel like going into uh, hermit mode might have made you realize that you are worth all of the pentacles, not just the page, but all of the pentacles. I feel like there's an opportunity coming to you here in the 3D that is going to make you some money or is going to make you feel your worth. Take it as it resonates here. Let's pull one card for the end of the month for the fourth week of February. What is coming up for Scorpio, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Tell me about Scorpio. We have, to be fair, this is Libra. Something is coming into karmic balance for you. Um, we have uh, card number um, 11. Uh, so 38 is 11. And it feels like something is coming into balance. Look, if you've been seeing 11s or 1s, 1111 or 111, I feel like this is warning you. I don't think it's really a warning, but I think it's kind of an indication telling you that there is something that's coming up that you are going to get some sort of karmic balance in here. Um, karmic justice, possibly. And... Um, yeah, something is coming that is going to, like the truth might be told, the truth might be said, something's about to work in your favor. Something's about to come into balance here. And you might already be seeing some sort of angel numbers that are telling you that something's about to come into balance. Ah, oh, my favorite card in this deck. I totally love it, Between Worlds. So it does feel like you need to come to the edge. It looks like you're going to have to take some sort of a risk here. Uh, it says here that you are between worlds right now, but if you come to the edge, there will be some sort of a regeneration. Something that seems like it is growing again after you thought it had burnt to the ground. Sometimes, right, volcanoes will overflow and I'm seeing lava going down. And then sometimes there is sprouts, right, because lava will nourish the ground. And there are sprouts that will end up, you know, growing in the cracks, Just listening i'm hearing a song and i don't know what it is i just heard uh, somebody sing evil grows in cracks and holes and lives in people's minds it feels like you don't believe that this thing would ever regenerate itself but i think that if you're willing to take a chance to take a leap of faith and come to the edge i feel like it's all the push that you need to push you into the color from the black and white in between worlds tells me that you are maybe possibly healing but with the between worlds card tells me that you're not quite out of one vibration and not quite into the other you're kind of in the middle but we do have card number three we also have a three here so maybe back here you're in your armadillo spirit right and here you're setting healthy boundaries so it feels like you're crossing over some sort of a threshold in the week ahead all right let's clarify here tell me about the eight of wands please Tell me what we need to know about the Eight of Wands, co-creation with spirit. I feel like you have the key to unlock the door to some sort of wish fulfillment here. And if you should um, decide to co-create, that means that you should decide to connect with your creator, whoever that is, and however you do that. I feel like this um, things start to move toward you to give you inspiration. We've got, uh, I say inspiration, and the Queen of Wands is here. She's the one that only does things when she's inspired to do so. She is someone who has been through a lot. Um, she is um, someone who is independent, individual, someone who might be a business owner, someone who's a bit of a badass. I'm gonna say you're a bit of a badass, and you might have fire in the moon and the rising, but that's no hero there. I feel like um, that you are a manifester because the Queen of Wands is that, and she's also a risk taker. She's someone who will move slow, get all the details but then she will take a leap at the end and she'll go down her own road she doesn't care if you see her skin or nays she doesn't she's not taking advice from anybody she's coloring outside the lines and doing her own thing and having a hell of a good time doing it we do have the page of cups the page of cups could be an apology but it does feel like a surprise I want to say that you're going to be surprised with some sort of a wish fulfillment, my friend, that's going to make you very happy. Something that you've been reaching for or wanting or it's been your heart's desire for a while. I think the universe is about to surprise you with something. What? 
the universe is about to surprise you with something here, something you're not expecting. And I think that when you get into this co-creation, when you get yourself into the cycle of manifestation and prayer or meditation, I feel as you co-create with the universe that you end up with the bird's eye view, right? We have a crow here. And crows are always up high in the tops of the trees and the tops of the lights. And it feels like you end up having a bird's eye view of your manifestation as it arrives and it's going to surprise you here I feel and that manifestation is whatever you've been manifesting it's different for everybody but I feel like once you decide to open the door that's when the universe answers back but I feel like you need to reach out first tell me what this opportunity is I feel like you're gonna have to have your boundaries up my friend be very balanced and take off that armor okay because armor is great it doesn't let anything in to hurt you but also you can't get anything out which means that you can't really be authentic you can't really um speak to people on their level because you're so scared that you're going to get hurt there is an opportunity coming here that's going to require you to take off the armor but boundary up we have uh, temperance very interesting so it is a healing balanced moment of alchemy um, the answer is always yes so yes there is an opportunity that is being born here in the 3d for you uh, we have sagittarius energy here we have aries sagittarius leo energy here in the queen energy we do have the four of wands and we do have <laughs> The Knight of Cups. So I don't know who out there wants love, romance. It feels like somebody here, it's like the right time. Temperance is the moment of alchemy, right? We're going hot, cold, hot, cold, right? Finding the perfect balance of temperance, right? And it, it feels like you've been waiting for a long time for this, but I want to say that there is something significant coming in for you that's going to make your home very balanced, very happy, very healed. And I think it has to do with some sort of a romantic connection that it's going to put you in a place that you've never been before or maybe you've been there before but it feels like it's it's a special kind of love because temperance is here it's sent to you by the universe with the intention of healing it's a healing kind of love that is going to be brought into your home life and it's going to bring balance to everything there is going to be a great opportunity here for you to meet someone get romantically involved if that's what you're interested in and I feel like that's going to pour over into your home life um, it's a really stable love it's a stable exciting romantic passionate kind of love and temperance is telling me that it's also balanced and spiritual and um, it's a really great opportunity that's why you're asked to take off your armor I think and it grows quickly into the ten of pentacles because I feel like you notify the universe and tell them what your worth is because you have been in this hermit mode here finding your light tell me about the ten of pentacles We have the Four of Pentacles. You've been holding on to this idea of the Ten of Pentacles here, Seven of Cups. I think the reason that you've shied away from looking for the Ten of Pentacles is because it's overwhelmingly emotional for you. I feel like you you are someone, of course, Scorpio, who doesn't like to, to let everybody see you know, you're not going to let anybody see you sweat. You're not going to bring any of those feelings to the surface. You're kind of stoic. You're kind of stone-faced. You don't really want... You're going to keep your cards to your chest, not let anybody know what's going on here. And I think really what's happening here is that by the end of the week next week that you're thinking about making some sort of an emotional decision as it pertains to the Four of Pentacles. I really do feel that in silent, you've been holding on to the hope that there would be some opportunities coming in love. And I feel like that's... You have some opportunities not only emotional opportunities and you're going to need to pick but I feel like it's opportunities for long term and then we have the two of wands there's the decision so you're at the crossroads you need to make a decision is it something you want to do some of you will do it some of you won't some of you have nothing to do with an emotional connection or anything like that but this reading is not for you then because it does feel like somebody who I feel has done a lot of work on themselves to be happy um is looking at sharing that with someone else but is waiting for an opportunity to arise that is going to allow them to let go of their armor even though they keep their boundaries in place i feel like there is a romantic um, sort of energy coming at you that is very stable and balanced and healing 
This isn't somebody who is going to take advantage of you. This isn't any drama of any kind. I think you're going to have to make a decision once all of these opportunities begin to show up here. Tell me about, uh, to be fair, this is Libra energy. Um, tell me about, to be fair, what's coming up at the end of month for Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have the King of Swords. Look, you're going to have to make a really big decision. And it's going to be the decision that's best for everyone involved. And when I say that, I don't truly know what I mean. But I do know that the King of Swords is someone who is a, a lawyer, a judge, a magistrate. And maybe you're not that, but those are the kinds of energies that I'm looking at. Someone who's very cerebral and not scared to make cuts. Someone who's going to be very honest and truthful and transparent. And it's like you don't know how to be any other way. So whether or not you have error in the chart, it's not my concern. I feel like this is an energy. This could definitely be a person. Now, to be fair, is Libra. And we do have the King of Swords who is Aquarius. We are still in Aquarius season for a few more days. But I do believe that this is the lawyer. For some of you, it could be a legal thing that somebody is making a decision that's best for you, best for everyone involved, that will be said in your favor. Because when um, when Libra shows up, to me, it's karmic justice. So it does feel like there is something coming up at the end of the month. If you do have something legal that's going on, I feel like it will be resolved by the end of the month for some of you. And it's going to be decided by a, uh, a judge, lawyer, or magistrate. It does feel like it has to do with an ending. We do have an owl here. It feels like it has to do with some sort of a transformation or changing of minds we do have the ace of cups you're changing your mind i think that's beautiful scorpio I, I felt like all the way up to here you were kind of scared sort of avoiding kind of practicing avoidance staying shut down not really sure keeping your armor on and i feel like as we go here it's like you're making a big decision that's going to gonna work out really in, balanced in your favor here you're changing your mind about love, about beginning again, beginning in love again. Somebody who has decided that they're just going to stay single, I don't need the drama. I feel like something shows up for you. And to be fair, is like it's balanced. It's said in your favor. It's karmic justice. It's like you have done all the work that you need to do. This Ten of Pentacles and you knowing your worth is calling in some sort of romantic um romantic connection or the beginning of something that is in the heart center so something that is going to like a really true heart a really honest and truthful heart is what i see here and it's going to be someone who's going to teach you something the student is here they're probably going to teach you how to love oh it's kind of beautiful they're going to teach you that love is kind and just because we're looking at, at um, swords, right? We're looking at maybe possibly getting balance or maybe legal things. But, you know, if anything, um, Aquarius or the, the energy of the King of Swords is very just. Someone who's going to allow you to speak your mind, I think that you will learn... This person will teach you how to be very honest about your feelings. It's going to be very safe to love them. We have the Seven of Swords, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Devil. But look, I feel like you've been hurt before. You've been hurt really terribly before. The Seven of Swords tells me that you're a cynic or a pessimist, that you're scared that you're going to get hurt, that you don't know if you can trust this love. You don't know if you can trust the Queen of Cups. I'm going to say that the Queen of Cups is someone who's very compassionate, kind, and loving, and let this person prove themselves to you just by being who they are. They're very empathic. They will know what you need before you need it. Uh, we do have the Devil energy here and so you're like is this a toxic love i feel like you have doubt you have fear it feels like the devil is here to um to say you know what if this person plays me like a puppet like the last one did i don't think that they will because i'm looking at this here you get to make the choice so i feel like you're supposed to feel it out think about it i feel like it's first going to be head over heart i feel like this person's going to teach you to open up to your feelings and i feel like you're the one that's in charge anyway the King of Swords is. I feel like you're the one who's in charge anyway. This could be your energy, Queen of Cups. But we do have uh, the Lovers here. And the Lovers is a choice. And it also is a really deep, beautiful connection. 
but I still think that you've that you're kind of here I want to say that you're kind of here that you know you're kind of in conflict with the self you're fighting some sort of an internal egoic battle you're like I'm not really sure is 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 this going to end with the same way the other ones did before or maybe I'll get into it and it'll just bore me I won't grow there I feel like um it's a cynic's view I think that you won't be happy um I feels like you're going to it feels like in the past that maybe you got entangled with people who kept you at arm's length but were really interested in having a passionate relationship with you and then when it came to love it didn't work out for you you didn't grow there things came to an end and end up ugly and messy i don't think that that's what this is because soulmate relationships are really easy they're very flowing and um they are not dramatic there's really no hardship. I feel like the, the devil and the, the seven of swords tells me that you don't believe it when you see it. You feel like something's fishy, like something's being concealed from you because this person is being so kind and and honest and uh, legitimate. They're, they're showing you their feelings on the surface. But I really do believe that somebody here has been sent to teach you to open your heart. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for watching, Scorpio. I appreciate you. I'm going to be back, though, because I'm always back. You know that I am. Love you guys. I'm out for now. Bye-bye.